Hi all, I'm Shorin. Today I'm showing the ultimate optimization for the most FPS on Game Loop Emulator for PUBG. Before this video continues, I want to tell you that I did some basic optimization for Game Loop that I would suggest you to do that. And let's continue with the video. First of all, we go into the Nvidia control panel right here, and we go into the second part, <clears throat> Manage 3D settings. And if you see here, I have the image sharpening. So if you don't have that, we're gonna go to the registry editor. So we're gonna go to this destination. I'm gonna leave this text in the description of, of this video. So you're just gonna copy that from the description of this video and paste it right here. So just like that, press OK, and it's gonna lead you right here. So here we're gonna find the enable GR535. I have it right here. Double click it and just type here zero and press OK. That's all. We're going to close Nvidia, reopen it, and now you will be able to see here the image sharpening. Make sure that you copy all of my settings. So we're gonna press here on. On the sharpen part, we're gonna type 0 0.70 and ignore film grain. 0.17 <clears throat> so just press ok this one gonna be off this one gonna be the max 16 this one off gamma correction gonna be off before this video continues please subscribe my channel and give this video a like this one gonna be application controlled the transparency gonna be off here we're gonna leave this only 30 fps because we don't need more this is when the, your app like when the game loop pubg or whatever you play when that is in background so we're gonna limit it to 30 fps so you will have more space when you like open google chrome or any other uh, program here in the gpu you're gonna select your gpu if you have it here in the DSR factors, we're going to turn on all of that, what you have. Here in the DSR factors, we're going to turn on all of them. Smoothness is going to be 33 by default, so we're going to leave it like that. Low latency mode, we're going to leave it on. Max frame rate, we don't want to limit anything there monitor technology we're gonna uh, use the fixed refresh this one on auto auto select power management we're gonna leave it normal Power management mode, I'm leaving normal. You can experiment, you can use maximum performance if you see that this will uh, give you more FPS, but for me, I'm using normal. The refresh rate, we're gonna use the highest available. Shader case size, I'm gonna leave it at five gigabyte. If you have more uh, free space like one terabyte or two or whatever use the 10 gigabyte we're gonna use this one on this one clamp the quality we're gonna use the performance this one on auto off use the 3d application settings one adaptive and auto here to the change resolution you normally will have this one and this one now the dynamic super <coughs> dynamic super resolution is on i would suggest you to use the one that is with the dl in the end so you can use this one this one or experiment which one is better for you so yeah, 
don't forget to apply those uh, new settings. So after we choose the resolution, make sure you have the max uh, refresh rate that your monitor uh, supports. In the end, we're gonna go to the adjust desktop color settings. The last tweak that we're gonna do is to the digital vibrance. We're gonna make this 70. So this is the last part that we're gonna change it. So what this setting is gonna do, uh, this is gonna give you more stable FPS and uh, above the screen uh, you will see the enemies more sharper and more with colors and it's gonna be much much smoother gameplay for you. Try it out and let me know if it helps you in the comments.